Happy Halloween and welcome to episode 50 of the 18 Tears Podcast. You know, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm doing it now. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I went in Mine my drink, just went in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was the saddest fucking, like, pop in the world. Oh, that's it, fucking like, I popped it here and it just went into your drink, like two centimetres. Jesus. Big 5 old We're five old as fuck, man. We are old. Yeah, how, how, how much have we aged since? When did you start? Like, when did it actually first come out? Uh, May 22nd last year. Oh, really? Last year? Yeah. I thought it was longer than that. No. Like, we've only missed two weeks of episodes. What? It's 52 weeks in a year. Yeah. If it's October. May 20... Oh, no. <laughs> Are you alright? Are you, are you, are you okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not okay, mate. <laughs> we've missed a lot of weeks. <laughs> we've gone wild. We've missed so much. My, yeah. my CV is literally like, oh, I have good organisational skills because I do a podcast every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just click on the channel. It's like, hmm. <laughs> If it's every two Ooh. weeks, then you're impressed. Yeah, then that's a good yeah, yeah for much. us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, little secret on this: this is the second time we filmed this special. Ooh. But he I was late, here. and I'm blaming it on Ty. Well, it wasn't late; didn't turn up at all. Yeah. I'm, blaming, <laughs> I'm blaming my subsequent breakdown in that episode. Fully I was late by a week, so <laughs> I'm still here now, though. Yeah, yeah uh, if that episode ever does come out, it'll be in the eye above my head. So it'll either mm-hmm. never be there, or there in like a month when I stop caring. You know? Yeah, if you care to check back in a month. Yeah, <laughs> if I you won't remember check back this in one, a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember this one factoid from this yeah. fucking podcast. <laughs> Fab. Oh, but yeah, how have you been? How have you, that Great. Was, yeah. So I, I'd also like to point out this shelf. Uh, on the episode that never came out, Emily and Pete were there. While well, they weren't there, they were on this shelf, you know? It was yeah. like good boys. Mm. It was like, oh, everyone's here in spirit. But this week, everyone's here in spirit because yeah. <laughs> everyone's busy except for you. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so would you like to explain exactly where you were? Because you abandoned us all. <laughs> I don't even remember. Jesus Christ. What did I say? What was uh, my excuse? Well, you messaged me like... I meant to send you a text, and uh, oh, I, right, I didn't yeah. press send. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah, that, I, was the, I, that was the full yeah. extent of the information. <laughs> I, well, I wrote a message, and I was like, yeah, dude, I can't come, because like, I think I had work or some shit. I had right, to like, yeah, cover yeah. somebody at work. And then I like looked at my phone the next day, and I was like, fuck, I, I just didn't even send it. I just like left mic on red. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you get my voice note? Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> were you doing Nazi yeah. in a car crash? Or you <laughs> Absolutely. I listened to that, and I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> Fucking typed out a big, long message. Like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make <laughs> it work, except and then you were just still sitting there like is he coming I was so fuming how long did you guys wait uh, well we had because you were supposed to pick up Jordan yeah and then Jordan fell asleep so we were like, oh, okay. well, if Ewan isn't coming, Jordan isn't coming. Then we phoned yeah. Jordan and Ryan had to go get Jordan. So it was a good, like, 45 minutes, like, after we were supposed to record. And I'd, right. like, rented the front room, essentially. I'd been like, can you guys, like, not come down for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, now we're back I'm in sorry. the garage. Good times. Good we're times back. are ahead. Yeah. So if, uh, this is a long fucking prelude. This is a long prelude yeah. to actually start the show. Mm-hmm. So we'll jump right in with conspiracies. You said you had a scary story, but do you actually have any, like, conspiracies? I do have a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to kick fire. it off? Oh, I'm yeah. going. Fire away. I'll, I'll give you the tinfoil hat, but I feel like it might be warm right. now. I've got no flame. Because okay, okay, okay. I'm, uh, I'm not going to remember all of that. But um, essentially, <laughs> it kind of mirrors the Epstein thing a little. No, no, I spent four days. No, 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 no it's, it's not Epstein. Four days. It's not Epstein, but it's similar. Is it about who killed him? No. Oh, no. okay. All right, go, go. It's go, about a different good, person. Good so there's this um, model in like Argentina called Natasha Jates. I'm probably butchering that. It's like awful. Okay. And. Um, <laughs> Essentially, she got semi-popular after a little while. Um, it seemed like kind of organic, but what she revealed later is she was like a high-level prostitute, as it were. Scandalous. She, she was a child. She was Scandalous. a child, high-level prostitute. And she said, apparently, she did that in like the hopes of they would be like, yeah, you'll be famous later in life. You know, we'll sort you out. Yeah. Turns out, to be fair, they stuck to their word and they did, you know, but she was a child prostitute. Yeah. So bad times. And um, she didn't really come out with this until just super randomly. She just went on to like a live t- TV broadcast of like some sort of like famous act. Like there's a TV show in Argentina streamed live, famous actor hosting it, and they're just having a dinner party essentially. She goes on right. there and she's like, you know, where would be the perfect place to air my like pedophile stories? Right on this fucking... That like, is fucking yeah, it's wild. That is so good. On this fucking midday, like, housewife's yeah. TV show, which is incredible. That good is, on her. That is good. We stand. We do. St- we stand um, so hard right now. So she went on there. She's like, yeah, I was a prostitute as a child. It's pretty fucked up. Bad times. She, like, name dropped. She didn't even give a fuck. Like, didn't even, like, try to censor anything or, like, right. hide anything. 
and essentially there was implications of like a lot of famous people, a lot of rich people, surprise, and the Pope. The, the Pope? Yeah, the Pope. Like the, the current Pope? The, I don't know if it's the current Pope or the former Pope, because okay, I think this is right. a while ago. Uh, I don't really know what date it is. It doesn't really say it okay, very well. Yeah, carry on. Uh, there you go. Um, so yeah, she goes into depth uh, about that and like the television hosts are like super uncomfortable because this girl's like spilling her fucking yeah. heart out and they're just like, this is daytime TV. <laughs> I mean, I would stop. also be like, oh, but that is juicy. That is yeah, fucking good. Really shit. good. Incredible. That is good um, TV. And then straight after this, like after she's name dropped a bunch of like famous, very okay. rich people and whatever, like saying, yeah, they're straight up pedos, not a proof. <laughs> she posts proof on Twitter and uh, fucking like reveals some shit where it's like, oh yeah, uh, well, it's semi-proof. She's getting like texts from like numbers being right, like, meet this you. person here at this time. And it just so happened, oh yeah, look, there's black book of like the Pope flying out to this location at this time. And there's fucking texts to back it up being like, yeah, you're here to meet the Pope. I love it. I, I, mean, yeah. I don't love it. I hate it, but like, I love it. I don't think it was the Pope, but it was actual proof. But like the Pope's alleged, but she has proof on like other famous people and wow. shit. Wow. A Catholic so, priest it, being a novel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it seems more credible, especially after outing legitimate people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but like yeah straight after she posts proof on Twitter like after this um, TV interview and then she posts as well I'm going to get the quote here because I don't want to fuck this up so this was um, at least in like the last 15 years yeah at least yeah because she's tweeting and shit why um, okay but she tweeted like essentially I'm not going to kill myself uh, I'm not going to shoot myself I'm not going to like uh, hang myself any of this I have no suicidal thoughts please save this tweet like straight afterwards and then she got whacked <gasps> yeah but like the thing this is fucking wild yeah, she gets fucking whacked it's like so blasé as well like the way how they did it Holy and like shit. the coroner report like the coroner of course has said yeah it's suicide totally yeah. 100% but there was leaked pictures um, what went on to Twitter as well like mm-hmm. from another journalist a friend of hers where her body was found completely naked she just got out of the bath apparently she was struggling out of the bath because there was fucking like water splashed everywhere and she was shot in the back of the head and that was claimed as a suicide Jeez. I don't know about you but if I'm going to kill myself yeah. I'm not taking a bath and then quickly like fuck I need to kill myself right now <laughs> splashing out of the bath and like shooting myself in the back of the head that's not what you do that's not how you kill yourself <laughs> no, that's absolutely not that should be a so, new plan yeah. <laughs> that's so especially after saying on Twitter like a week ago yeah. like I'm not going to kill myself I, no I hope you see my private Twitter well. you oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah next week Mike does the exact same let me play devil's advocate for a minute <laughs> yeah have you seen that it's from it's from fucking Simpsons where I was just like Marge can I play devil's advocate for a bit and then he just goes and plays like an arcade game called devil's uh, advocate Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh, Fuck, it's so yikes. good. But that's not the end of it. Oh, that is okay. not the end. This is, this is mad. So I said her journalist friend posted the, uh, you know, photos on Twitter yeah, yeah. of her dead body, you know, nude on the floor, whatever. Like trying to like get it out there that she totally didn't kill herself. Where can I, I find posted... these pictures? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's on the internet somewhere. You'll, you'll okay, find it. Okay. But apparently uh, her friend, Louis Ventura, Sure. Ventura. Uh, yeah, Ventura. Wow. Uh, his Twitter was very soon after deleted, the fucking post deleted, and then was found dead days later in their home, but their phone was fucking nowhere to be found. All computer records, all fucking hard drive taken out, phone nowhere, still not found to this day. Like, totally, oh. he did not delete that shit, straight up. Oh. It might have been blocked by Twitter. But he totally wouldn't have deleted that shit, thrown away his phone, and then killed himself again. Yeah. And the coroner, again, said suicide by hanging. That's mental. Madness. And that's essentially where it ends. And it's like, just people are like going on like, yeah, where's the fucking news articles about this yeah. shit? <laughs> like, there's so many, like, just weird stuff going on. And people are just like, eh, we move on now. Like, Holy a new shit. news cycle just fucking goes in the next thing. I just thought it was quite topical because, like, the Epstein thing. I knew that you was going to cover Epstein, so I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to steal your thunder. <laughs> but kind of similar. Like, yeah. going to expose child predators and stuff and then gets whacked. Mm. Yeah. So, good times. <gasps> Natasha J, what a boy. When I get whacked next week, <laughs> I want you to post my dead naked okay. body. <laughs> <to it. laughs> Don't worry. So, speaking of Jeffrey Epstein... Mm. All, all of this information I have is coming from Sean Atwood, who does a way better job of covering this than I will do. But it's my show. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep Just the credit. The truth podcast, it. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, essentially, yeah. <laughs> that's where I got most of the notes from. Uh, we'll also be jumping around timelines and accusations quite frequently and maybe confusingly, but as there is a lot. 
And there's multiple theories involved in this, and I'll split it up into a couple of parts. First, Jeffrey Epstein. Second is something that I need you to, like, vehemently disagree with, or okay. you will get whacked. I'm already getting whacked from the Pope, mate. Honestly. It's fine. I'm already on board. Pope's taken you out. Yeah. Someone else who I will mention soon has taken me out. It's gonna be this is gonna be a great podcast. Yeah, <laughs> just the murdered podcast. The fiftieth and last yeah. episode of the 18th. Uh, so part one of this conspiracy: Jeffrey Epstein is a paedophile sex trafficker, shared, and subsequently he was murdered for that. Allegedly, you're gonna die on that gr- mound. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna die on this mound. Uh, Bill Clinton is a sexual predator, rapist, cokehead, drug kingpin, and a murderer. Allegedly. Mm. Allegedly means they Alleged. can't whack me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fine then. <laughs> but I do believe a fair whack of this. But you know, it's, come get me. What have, what, have I, what have I really got to lose? <laughs> Let's be honest here. So Jeffrey Epstein was a paedophile. That's real clear. You can agree with that. I'll tell you when to stop agreeing. With okay, me. agree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of his first jobs was a physics and maths teacher at a private school for teenagers. Nonce wanting to work around kids. Big shocker there. You know, mm. uh, the headmaster who hired him was Donald Barr, and that last name will become quite important a bit later on. Okay. It's good. It blew my mind. Genuinely All right. like, shattered my mind. Don't need to like, make a list of these names. It's probably <laughs> entirely unrelated, but it's just really creepy. It's, okay. It's a really creepy coincidence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he was then fired for two years of two years later for poor performance and went to work as a stock trader. Mm-hmm. He started out as junior assistant to a floor trader, then worked his way up to an options trader. And options are well, ask me what an option is, Ian. What's an option? Like? Big complicated as what an option is. Basically, <laughs> if a share is gonna go up ten percent, an option will go up hundred percent or you'll lose it all yeah it's it's real risky mm-hmm. big so it's like high risk high reward all that sort of thing sure that's how it was explained to me but i probably really got it wrong we'll see if 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 any stock traders are watching this or to tell me how a fucking option <laughs> yeah. works with my five pounds 65 pence in my bank account that would be <laughs> wonderful uh, uh, okay <laughs> yeah but he was making stacks off that real fast and they set up mm. a consulting firm in 2005 the police was starting to be like oh Maybe he's a bad boy. <laughs> okay. What so, about, like, stock trading? or? Uh, just, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. All right. Uh, the, a woman contacted the police in Palm Beach, alleging that a 14-year-old stepdaughter was taken to Epstein's mansion uh, by an older girl and paid £300 to strip and massage Epstein. Massage is a covert word for the dingly danglies. For the do. <laughs> yeah. The doody data. You know, you know how it goes. Mm. The dirty time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, at the time he was operating out of loads of properties two of the most famous being a 77 million dollar mansion in new york Ooh. Ooh. and a private island which has been dubbed the pedophile island yeah oh well, he's not trying to hide it uh, i mean <laughs> he probably didn't call it I, that I, he didn't call it that <laughs> yeah. no, but like, it was, the island is actually something that alex jones used to bang on about so you know maybe the frogs were gay Maybe the frogs actually <laughs> yeah. work out. Alex Jones is mad because sometimes, <laughs> like, 10% of the time he gets sometimes something right. He's yeah. fucking bang on. Yeah. But other times he's calling frogs gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, maybe they are gay. All right. Maybe they are gay. The frogs gay. <laughs> Chemtrails, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in buying an island and loads of stuff off of this stock training thing is pretty unfeasible. Like, you can make stacks, okay. but like an island and a $77 million mansion and a couple other houses. Okay. Hey, it's a, ooh, it's like, what in like the time frame it took him? I mean, just in general, that's that's like a billion. Gotta yeah. be. For like an <laughs> island and that lot. It's, it's I don't know. Buffett did it. 500 million at least. Buffett would fucking smash I'm, it. I've that's got, how he got money, I've isn't got it? I feeling he's a nonce. So maybe possibly. Buffett's a nonce. Oh, bless. I think anybody with like loads of money has to be a seedy person at some point. Whether that's nonce or not, I don't know. Anyway, (laughs) so how did he get that big money? You and ask me how he got that big money. Uh, How did he get it? I appreciate that you're following the script. You're being a good boy. (laughs) (laughs) So he he ran a pedophile ring and blackmailed the high up people in that ring. And those are just believed to be two of his streams of sketchy money. There are way more, but they're the two that we're going to. So got it just from blackmail. Pretty much mad. Blackmail and high up people being like, I'll give you 10 grand, shag that 14 year old. What, for him to shag the 14 year old? No, no, no. yeah, he was doing it too. So he's essentially like, a pimp. He's like pimping out these fucking birds as well. We'll go with that. Okay. Yeah, maybe pimp's a little bit <laughs> insensitive <laughs> for I these think young women. Do you see in the corner then? That's the end of my party popper hanging from a spider web. <laughs> Just fucking floating there in reality. <laughs> that is what I probably yeah. killed a spider. <laughs> Oh, good <laughs> uh, right. One of the people in this ring was Prince Andrew. So, so, so a member of the royal family, lower down the tone, yeah. but still a member of the royal family. Uh-huh. It's like, ooh. One of his most vocal victims was Virginia Roberts, which is a pretty bad, terrific name, really. It's the, very American. Virginia. Oh, okay. 
hilarious. <laughs> that's that's the worst did, joke in a world. <laughs> that is the worst joke ever. Uh, yeah, but she did an interview about Prince Andrew saying... Uh, she was saying how she went to a club with Andrew and he was supplying her with alcohol while she was underage. Mm. Uh, and they got in a car with Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell was basically one of his, like, I'll go get the girls for you sort of people. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're like acquaintances sure getting girls in mm-hmm. oh it's gross mm. oh, and Ghislaine instructed Virginia to do for Andrew what she does for Epstein oof yikes Virginia Roberts then had sex with Prince Andrew in the bathroom and in the bedroom you know, okay. Stamina, you know? <laughs> Andrew's <laughs> wicked. <laughs> He's got game, dude. Uh, this was the first of several encounters, and it's unclear whether she was underage, like, for all of this, because yeah. it was over a period of time. Sure, yeah. And there was one a little bit later on when she was 18, mm-hmm. but there was in an orgy with Prince, Aud- with Prince Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein, and a bunch of underage girls. Okay. Who were believed to be of... European descent somewhere because they didn't speak okay. much English, right? Mm-hmm. And that becomes very important when you look to another one of Epstein's friends, Jean Luc Brunel. Mm-hmm. And I fucked that name real bad. Uh, he ran a modeling agency in France where he was doing a similar job to Ghislaine Maxwell and supplying Epstein with underage girls. Right. And here is something really fucking atrocious. Mm-hmm. Are you, I, oh, where's me bucket? Is it bad? It's, it's, oh, oh. he mm-hmm. allegedly. Uh, so he got Jeffrey Epstein a birthday gift. You know what you get people for. Like, <laughs> a bottle of booze, like some chocolates or something. Gift, he got him 12-year-old triplets. Jesus. Yeah. That's Fuck. fucking unpleasant. I mean, for a pedophile, so that's probably a great gift, but that is awful. Here we go. I'll keep it there. Uh, okay, fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, right. So he also had most people have a phone book, right? And some some weirdos, Charlie Sheen, mm. refers to him as a little black book. Right? Okay. But Jeffrey Epstein's little black book is fucking huge. Yeah. It was I think ninety two pages. I read Ooh. through all of it because I'm I had nothing better to do in my life, you know. Just to see like names you recognize yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 not fun. It's really not fun. This book doesn't make you a pedophile or a sketchy person, but yeah, it yeah. really doesn't look good for you. And an important mm. thing is the amount of phone numbers you have, because why would you need like. 15 phone numbers. Like, one or two, probably not. Oh, right, for the same person? Yeah, 15 for the same person. Yeah. How does he need to get in contact yeah. with that? This person bad? has a lot of burners. Yeah. Like, So, yeah. uh, Mick Jagger, he's only got two, so they're probably just mates. Uh, like, yes, you see what I'm getting at here, right? So he yeah. has two. Jean-Luc Brunel, who we mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. has 21, and his name is circled. So that sort of gives <laughs> yeah. you the distinction yeah. of like who might be a real bad person. Yikes. Uh, do you know Naomi Campbell? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, 15. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, Prince Andrew has 20. Uh, mm. Ralph Fiennes, who played Voldemort, has five. So he's on the, he's like, that's, toe in the line. That's a lot, there. though. Yeah. Do celebrities just have these I've got many phone numbers? three of your phone numbers, because I don't know which phone number uh, is actually yeah, yours, because you okay. change your phone like nine times. True. And I was like, oh, fuck, I can't be bothered to delete them. Okay. I just phoned my way through them. I'm like, oh, cool, there <laughs> yeah. we go. This is the one, yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but so, still, like, we've been friends since, yeah. like, year exactly. one. Exactly. I mean, they could have been friends for a while. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Courtney Love has three numbers, which isn't okay. sketchy, but she is circled like Sean Luke Brunel, so mm. that might be sketchy. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, Chris Tucker from the Rush Hour films, he's got like five or six, I think. Mm. Like, eh, I don't think I can watch Rush Hour anymore. You know, a bit <laughs> sketchy. Uh, Trump and Clinton both in there multiple times as well. They've Oof. got quite a few. I didn't count them, but there's a fair whack. Yeah. And that is where you have to stop agreeing with me. <laughs> okay. Well, this is all like confirmed shit or like... Um, I mean, it's so conspiracy to a point, sure. but uh, Bill Clinton is a murderer and I'm about to call him a murderer and I could get whacked real soon. <laughs> no. I'm all in on this. <laughs> I will decide whether to agree with you or not. Shut the fuck very up. Very shortly. Right. Uh, so here's where we get even grosser. Uh, the Lolita Express was Epstein's private jet. Yeah. Do you know what Lolita means? Uh, well, it's like Japanese, what, like Lolicon, that kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you that. So it's a word I never heard of, so I Googled it, and oh, I think I'm on some sort of watch list now. Uh, <laughs> okay. it, the definition is a sexually precocious young girl, and I also didn't know what precocious meant, so I Googled that. <laughs> And that means developing certain abilities or inclinations at an earlier age than usually expected. So yeah. Lolita basically means a young girl that's ready for sex. Yeah. 
and he named his plane after this. Yeah, man. What, he fully named that? That's yeah. not like something it's else. It's called the Lolita Express. Fuck. I think, anyway. That's I, mad, I can't like, tell if that's <laughs> like Peter for our yeah. island naming yeah, or he exactly. actually yeah, yeah. called his plane. That's what I'm saying. Like, but that's... Oh. If you're going Gatwick and you see like, you know, Virgin <laughs> Express, like fucking on the <laughs> yeah, Your on Virgin side. Airlines on one side yeah. and the Lolita, Lolita Express <laughs> on the other. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Being so fucking blase with it. That's great. I love that. That's alpha. Are you, that's, this is entirely unrelated, but in Victoria Coach Station, it's got like all the coach stuff. One of them's just for Downton Abbey. That's not even a real place. It's just like a tour. But rather than oh, okay. calling it the real place, they're just like Downton Abbey. I'm like, how the fuck? That's, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. that's like a tour to the Doctor Who set. It just says, Gallifrey or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Bill Killen and now the being, big being boy. in the sky, right? Mm. You're out of legal jurisdiction, <laughs> meaning <laughs> that there are no ages of consent in the sky. Mm. So you can basically have sex with whoever you want. And it doesn't matter. Mm. Ugh. Clinton, at one point or another, claimed he had been on the plane four times, right? Okay. So it could have just been to like go on a plane and see his mate. Yeah. Right? Well, if it's a round trip, he's been like, Hi, yeah, big twice. Jeff, how you doing? Right. But yeah. and then you look at the flight logs. Guess. Guess how many? It's going to be something stupid, like 100 times. 27. 27. 27. I mean, you overshot it, so it makes 27 yeah, look really I, I shit. Yeah, I know. I feel bad but when I, like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. I just fucking hate Guess you. how many. <laughs> Guess how many underage children he's 9,000. Yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's 1,042. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it looks it's like a lot less now. now yeah. No, that is uh, a lot. 27. Yeah, I, 27. Haven't well, I haven't been on a plane that much. And like, also, full stop. why would he lie about it? Yeah. Why would you say I've been on there yeah. four times when you've been on there 27 there's times? There's a big And difference. there's proof that you've been on there 27 times. Yeah. So like, I'm not saying that he was on there for sketchy reasons, but why lie? I mean, there's like, a big difference between four and 27. Like, you'd remember yeah. if it's just like, yeah, I've unless, been on there a couple of times. Unless he was taking the plane to go and, like, get Hillary Christmas presents or something. And he wanted to be like, I haven't been on that plane lots. You know? <laughs> yeah. Where did this <laughs> all come from? <laughs> yeah. I didn't go to Belarus just to get Hillary's special tea, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. 27 times. Yeah. So it could have been for the legitimate reasons but yeah. i highly fucking doubt it when it's mm. 27 now you might be wondering why is all of this conspiracy theory and it's never been blown out of the water when there seems to be so much proof of what's happened right okay so jeffrey epstein was in prison and he was gonna talk about it he was gonna start yeah. exposing people like mm-hmm. five at a time i think yeah and obviously he was gonna pull a six nine and seem like a canary because he was like he was on there yeah. for life you know you're not gonna get out mm-hmm. and then he died from suicide got suicided yeah, yeah. Another case of the old suicide. So Shot in the back of the head twice. <laughs> uh, here's where we go on to the Clinton murders. Ooh. The very incredibly juicy stuff. So in the early 1980s, we're going way back in time, are you? And way back, way back to the good days, the 80s, when I wasn't alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> there was a government-sponsored operation to send guns to rebel forces in Nicaragua. Okay. I slipped up saying that last week. That's why it's never come out. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I didn't do it so. The CIA, the CIA sent pilot Barry Seal there was a film made about this so that's why this bit sounds very filmy okay. but like it did actually happen okay. uh, Barry Seal was then sourced by the Medellin cartel to smuggle cocaine back to the US so he ran this operation through Mena Airport in yeah. Arkansas yeah. or Kansas yeah. isn't that the film with Brad Pitt uh, Tom Cruise Tom Cruise yeah. that's who yeah. Yeah. Uh, so after a little while he was picked up by the Arkansas investigators and was about to be charged when a phone call came through and he was allowed to walk free Mm. Who was on the other end of the phone, you? Epstein? Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So why would he do this, Ian? Why ask, ask me why he would do this. Why, hang, on, hang on. Why do you think he would do this, just first off? Because, like, he has insider information, which he could, like, spill the beans on Bill. The cocaine trade was bringing in $100 million a month Ooh. to Arkansas. And if you're the Arkansas governor, you know, you're getting all them fat stacks going. Yeah. So uh, Bill Clinton and Dan Lasseter, they set up a company called Arkansas Development Finance Authority, mm-hmm. right? And this was where they made it all look very legal. So they washed the money through there. Yeah. Right? People would apply to get loans from this company. And how yeah. do you get a loan, Ewan? You pay 50K to Hillary Clinton's law firm, and then these loans would be absolutely massive because you're trying to like get rid of dirty Coke money, and yeah. then they would never be repaid. So Bill Clinton making fat stacks by them giving Hillary money, and then he's like, here you go, it's these even fat stacks. Don't bother paying us back, you know, because it's not our money. <laughs> right. It's Mad. Dirty money, dirty money. <clears throat> uh, and relating to this, Don Henry and Kevin Ives, they were in the woods nearby the airport, and they saw one of these drug drops because they were like, come in, and then they'd be like, oh, get the drugs off, you know? Yeah. Oh, it goes. And the state police, which were patrolling the airport, they were obviously controlled by Bill Clinton because he's the state governor, you know? That's how police work. Sure. Uh, 
get assigned in that lot. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Uh, so on the next day, <laughs> after the boys were apprehended, they were found side by side under a tarp on the railway tracks, having been run over by a train. Fuck. And yeah. then, like, yeah, under a tarp. They were found under, under a, a tarp. So somebody exactly. is, like, fucking, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not just like, oh, yeah, the tarp just so happened to fall off the train. <laughs> okay, I'll get to it. Uh, the state medical examiner, Dr. Malak... Who, Malik? Malak? I don't, don't know. say that's what he said. <laughs> he said the fucking top fell off the train. <laughs> he fucking did. <laughs> he, was, he was appointed by Bill Clinton oh. to, as, as, like, the medical examiner. Yeah. Right? Uh, he ruled the deaths an accident, saying the boys had smoked uh, the equivalent of 20 joints and fallen asleep on the tracks yeah. after kindly wrapping themselves in tarps. Yeah. They got a bit cold. You people know? do that. Nice you know? and toasty. They do. I'm not a drug user, <laughs> but from what I hear, people do 20 I'm, I'm not a drug back user, back. but you know, that tarp over there looks real, looks yeah, real comfy. It looks real you know? cozy. Those train tracks, god damn, that's way yeah. better than my bed. After a know? couple of weeds, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Injecting 20 yeah, weeds. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but a second autopsy by a different doctor found the boys had smoked around one or two joints, not 20, which seems way more plausible. Yeah. Uh, and Don Henry's shirt contained evidence of a stab wound to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Circumstantial, mate. <laughs> Probably just came from the bar, you know, yeah. a little stabbing in and the now back. Now, here's where we're going to get whacked, you, because seven more people were killed in connection with the boys and, with, with this whole happening, uh, including shit. Kevin McCaskill, who claimed he was at the train tracks with them Worried he had given his information to the wrong people, made his own funeral plans in fear for his life, what? said goodbye to friends and family, and was found dead, stabbed 113 times. Holy shit. Someone really wanted him dead. Someone really <laughs> wanted these to be kept quiet. All of these yeah. killings took place before they could testify for a grand jury as well. So someone was really trying real hard to cover this up. Yeah. And I'm not saying that Bill Clinton, the governor of Arkansas, while there was a huge drug trade coming through an Arkansas... Mm. airport it's definitely knew what interest, was going on yeah. I'm not saying that he caused this but he definitely knew what was happening yeah and somebody was trying to cover something up and it had to be someone mm-hmm. at least a little bit high up you know yeah oh, some, a little background of some of Malik's other rulings because these okay. are <laughs> <laughs> they're good are they <laughs> they're good <ins. laughs> they are, oh. so he ruled a man's death a suicide despite the body having five bullet wounds <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a man was found with four shotgun wounds to the chest, which was also ruled a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> what? He ruled accidental drowning for a victim that had been shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just happened afterwards. <laughs> He's drowned it and then he was shot, Mike, clearly. Put that as misery, you know? Yeah. Uh, a depressed patient was found hung in a hospital shower. Okay. Do you remember how Epstein died? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> he ruled that a suicide. I mean, that's, that's bound to happen. Yeah. Uh, the wife sued the hospital for negligence, and he changed the... <laughs> he changed the cause of death to complications from a good old strangle wank, you know? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. He is bent as they come. He just... One, wow. one last one, because this one is... Oh, so James Millam was ruled to have died from a stomach ulcer. So mm. ulcer-related natural causes. Sure. Right? And then his skull was discovered, and it turned out he'd been decapitated with a knife. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? Who fucking, like, does he just... I don't understand how this can get by. I Surely think he does it for the banter. Yes, he, he, must be. he just, just wakes up every day. Lord. He's got, like, a tick list of how people have died. He's like, yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> stomach, stomach ulcer. Chop his head off. Yeah. Over it. <laughs> Oh, Nobody's Christ. just overlooking his thing. Yeah. He has no supervisors, no manager, no nothing. Uh, this this is so sketchy. That there's actually a definition for it on Urban Dictionary, and I know <laughs> Urban Dictionary is yeah. like the bastion yeah. of real yeah. words. But Arkansas is what it's called. It's the favoured method of getting rid of political enemies in the state of Arkansas. When a medical examiner explains why two bodies filled with bullets as a case of suicide, it's obviously called <laughs> a case of Arkansas. Yeah. Man. And who was the state governor of Arkansas? You and yeah, hit me with it. Bill. Big Bill. Yeah. Whack me, Bill. Shout out. Whack me, Bill. Man. So I can't wait till you get stabbed like 200 times. I can't wait. And he calls it Can you at least wanking. make it like either 18 or 217 just so I can stay on Ooh, brand, you know? That'd be good. That would, that would be my one request. You know, whack me all you want. Just like make it nice. <laughs> uh, and then now, just get the, gov- no, get the dude in to come in and just give you the weirdest fucking death. <laughs> like the coroner's report. Yeah. Uh, uh, died by balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see, he he died. He was scrolling through his uh, ex-girlfriend's Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> masturbating, and just got overwhelmed. <laughs> like, 
It's foam grew knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you, you had to help me that hard, didn't you? That was like a genuine personal attack. Oh, but yeah, another Clinton thing, li- linking back to him being a sexual deviant and maybe, yeah. maybe a pedophile. Uh, do you remember the whole Monica Lewinsky thing? It yeah. Was like, I did not have sexual relations yeah. with that woman, right? He did. He did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was speculated to have been a cover-up scandal for a bigger scandal, which was multiple rape cases filed against oh. him in court. And they were settled out of court, so obviously they're under an NDA, you can't yeah. say anything. Yeah. But there was also, during Trump's campaign, he had a bunch of women sat with him at one point. And uh-huh. Oh, right, they're, yeah, all they're the accusers. to yeah, be the accusers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, obviously, I can't That's say That's alpha. That. I like that. that. That is fire. I mean, I hate Trump. Yeah, like, <laughs> you got to respect that I also that respect, I respect <laughs> that. Like, uh, uh, Such yeah, a but, power move. So, back to Epstein now. We're going, we're going, going forward in time. You sure. Know? Uh, so, his suicide. Calling to Sean, big Sean Atwood, you know, we stand. Uh, there's a protocol in prison where, where the gangs ask you, like, what you in for, mm-hmm. right? And sex offender is kill on sight. Right, yep. and just like we need to murder this guy like mm-hmm. right now, right? So his cellmate ended up being Nicholas Tartaglioni. You watched the podcast, didn't you? So you know, like I've watched some of the okay, podcasts. Okay, I'll, I'll get you Nicholas Tartaglioni because he okay. is just just imagine the biggest bastard you've ever seen, and <laughs> okay. then Nicholas Tartaglioni. <laughs> it's like it's him, oh, it? <laughs> okay. oh, he sat with some dogs, so it's like it's quite nice. Oh. Yeah. It's not exactly <laughs> Is it like pit bulls? Like, <laughs> those are look at this man. Jeez. <laughs> look at this man. That's a big dude. He's fucking yoked. <laughs> Absolutely yoked. That's a massive so, dude. So, yeah, his cellmate just coincidentally ended up being Nicholas Tartaglioni, who <laughs> clearly loves him. dogs okay. and doing a good old bit of murder. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes so murdering sex if offenders. You're, if you're a sex offender, <laughs> yeah. you're branded kill on sight and you're put in a cell with a man that's already killed four people, your days are fucking numbered. Yeah. Surely. <laughs> like... Uh, three Yikes. weeks before the official suicide. I, I don't know why I said official. Su- I, official suicide is pretty official. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Just, just don't I think the suicide as well is quite a broad term in yeah. this guy's fucking yeah. <laughs> like, playbook. Uh, he was found unconscious in his jail cell with injuries to his neck. This was thought okay. to be a suicide attempt, but if you think about what I've just said. Yeah. I mean, after this incident, Epstein was placed on suicide watch, and six days later, he was moved off suicide watch and placed in a cell with a less terrifying inmate, right? mm. someone that isn't like, oh, but he, uh, an important statement to make is that he was still on the same wing as Tartaglioni. Okay. So they were a couple of cells down. Sure. It's like, uh, do you remember in class when you'd have like uh, like a little spat with someone next to you, and then they just move you like two seats down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's yeah. essentially like that. Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is. It is unpleasant. So there's a few ways that you can kill yourself in prison, right? Mm-hmm. And if you want to murder someone, you make it look like one of these. Uh, so a hunger strike, drinking yeah. bleach, yeah. eating razor blades, suicide by guard, which is essentially just running yeah, up to rioting. a guard trying to attack him and yeah. getting gatted by the SWAT team. Uh-huh. You get hot shotted, which is where a gang leader wastes good heroin on you. You know, just an okay. overdose heroin, and then yep. the guards find you, and it's like, oh, another dead junkie, don't matter me, you know, mm. but he was murdered. Uh, or you can hang yourself using the bed sheets, and this suicide is juicy. <laughs> okay. So you may know it's ruled a suicide by hanging, right? Yeah. But the security cameras at the time all malfunctioned. Oh, weird. So that isn't like they stopped recording. There's the footage can still be found, but when they malfunction, you can sue the jail all you want. The footage isn't there, you know. Right. It's just gone. So rather than them like withholding footage, footage doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the guards on duty fell asleep. Mm. Took a good nap, you know. Yep. <sighs> Surely that's negligence at least. Yeah, so this looks real sketchy. And an yeah. important note... Oh, I've already said that about him being moved two it, doors yeah, it's, down. Yeah, it's negligence at least and murder yeah. at best. It is, right? yeah. <laughs> so it's assumed that either the guards were in on it and didn't lock Tartaglioni's cell properly. Yeah. He did something <laughs> in the lock to, like, jam it so it wouldn't lock properly. Yeah. Or he wasn't involved in the killing directly, but knows way more than he's laying on. Okay. Right? And Epstein's hyoid bone, which is there-ish, it, like, connects your neck and head. Okay. was broken. And that sort of trauma comes from, not from suicide, but from strangulation. There okay. is a different type of trauma created when you're like sure. this rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. doing it to yourself. So you've just accepted it then. <clears throat> if you're struggling, bone breaks, right? Yeah. So that bone was broken. So that's another thing. Ooh. And... Tartaglioni, when questioned, said he had earbuds in and nobody heard anything. Hmm. Likely. Yeah. Everyone on the wing had earbuds, even though his well, his cell was wide open. Guards yeah. just didn't lock it properly. You know, he 
took a mooch over. Yeah. They had earbuds in. And so here's something so real interesting. You know? So the FBI launched an investigation into this, mm. right? The lead investigator for the case is Attorney General William Barr. Oh, that's the fucking Son of teacher Donald dude. Barr. <laughs> Man. Oh, right. The headmaster that hired Epstein at the school, bringing this yeah. whole thing very Wild. full circle. So I need to ask you a question real quick. Do you agree with what I just said? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so during the camera cut, you were, you were telling me you had the scary story because it's Halloween. <clears throat> yeah. It's Halloween. Yeah. It, this is actually coming out on Halloween. Yeah. So, you know, I hopefully it's, it's mm-hmm. a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah. But yeah, so it, it might be shit. Yeah, but, it, it's going to be shit. <laughs> uh, like, no one's going to lose sleep about it other okay. than me. I'm the only person who's <laughs> like, actually, All right, okay. like, yeah. uh, So, I was, uh, you know, chilling in bed, as I do most most nights on my own, sad times. And, uh, Same. <laughs> <laughs> just recently, like, I was home alone entirely. Like, everybody was at the house. Yeah. I was staying, like, you know, at friends or, like, gone to fucking work things and, like, are back, like, really, like, yeah. cool. I'm, it's like one o'clock and I'm still up watching Netflix as you do. And oh, my dog's not there either. So I'm by myself, okay. completely nobody about, all windows closed, check this later. Are you still in the place above the chip shop? Mm-hmm. That is a sketchy looking place. Uh, like, yeah, carry on. it's old as fuck yeah. as well. Um, and essentially, it felt like at first it was just like a bit of a breeze because, like, you know, windows were rattling. I was like, okay, okay. cool, that's fine. A little bit weird and sus, but fine. And then my cupboard door starts opening. Sick. Okay. Love that. <laughs> Love that for me. And then that was the point where I got up and I was like, okay, I'm going to check the windows. No, no windows open. Okay. Dope. So I was like, I'm not staying in this fucking room anymore. Okay. Went over to the living room. All lights on. I was like, I'm watching some fucking TV until like this shit blows over. Right. And I fucking hear knocking at the door. Not really weird. I'm like, yeah, Lewis is probably back from like his, uh, you know, work party or whatever. All good. I'll go open the door. Open the door. Fucking nobody's there. <laughs> But we also have like a bit of a... No, no, no. There's more. Because, okay, you know, right. well, you've been to my place. Yeah, like, yeah. there's a bit of an airlock almost to get to, like, our yeah, main front like, door. Yeah, there's yeah. that first red door, and then, like, behind that, then there's another door. Was it on the second door? It was knocking on the second... I'm fucking certain it was knocking on the second door. 100%. <laughs> there's no way it wasn't. How long did I, it take you to answer the door, though, after the knock? Oh, like... Would it be maybe, long enough for someone to open the door, run back down the stairs? No, no, but that, the red door was locked. The, like the main door like the first door was like fully locked there's no way to open like only me and my dad have the key Lewis doesn't have the key and I was just like oh, okay I, I don't know maybe like he got the key from my dad or some shit what door was still locked yeah mad open it up nobody there fucking pitch black even the um, uh, security light lights like the sensor activated yeah. lights weren't on and I was like, okay, this is, like, real suspect. Like, yeah. bang on the door, whatever. Um, and, like, I was, like, I am, like, freaked the fuck out at this point. Like, absolutely fucking losing my mind. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get on the phone with my dad and, like, just, like, chill for a bit. And, I like, what else can I do? Like, get a hotel? Like, that would be bitch made. <laughs> fuck that. I'm alphering this out. And just, just more weird shit just happens, dude. Like, creaking footsteps on, like, you know, like, bits of the stairs where you walk up, you know exactly what fucking stair it is. Yeah. Uh, nobody's still home. Still hear it. There's the only one stair in the house where it makes that same sound. I'm terrified yeah, to this day. Yeah, that is pretty fucky. <laughs> but, <clears throat> like, I'm sure, okay, I'm not sure if people were fucking with me at work or not. Because I told this story to people at work, and they were like, oh, yeah, no, that building, like, someone died there, You like, told me years last, ago. You, did this, you did a ghost story about your house okay. last year as well. And you were like, probably oh, it, it's fucked. Some, it's some weird haunted. guy came in and told us that someone like died here ages ago. Yeah, here, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people like around the area and stuff have been like, yeah, people, people just died there, mate. Yeah, it's just the thing. Like in the cellar, you know, a really weird cellar. Yeah, people have died in that. There is a bit of like a, a, a folklore. I don't know, like a town kind of like thing. Yeah, because our cellar is like really like if you're four foot tall, you'd probably have to like squat down in the cellar. Really, it's pretty short. That's an over exaggeration, but it's pretty fucking small. <laughs> <laughs> like, Would I have to crouch down? Uh, you'd have to yeah lean a little bit. Jesus. You'd have to lean a bit. I'm fucking tiny. Yeah, but what apparently <laughs> yeah, people fuck would say? <laughs> <laughs> I just get lost past. Yeah, you are. Um, but apparently they were like, oh yeah, people. Well, the previous owner they said buried people down there and then just layered concrete on top. And they said that's why it's so like this cellar is so fucking small. So I am actually petrified. Sure. I'm not staying in that house alone. <laughs> like, Can me and Stewie come do like a case file? So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that's, that's actually yeah, fucking creepy. That is 
I thought this. You, you thought this was gonna be shit. This is like this is gnarly stuff, man. Yeah, I guess. There's no like proof or anything. No, it's just like yeah, Ewan's losing his mind. <laughs> like things opening, knocking, and creaking and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, people dying there and like the bodies being covered up by cement's probably bullshit, honestly. But. I don't know. It's an old building. Like most old buildings, probably had people die. Yeah. Like, even if it's just an old person like passing away in their sleep. I mean, so. If you really think no, about it, it, someone's died in most buildings. Yeah. Like if they if they're at a certain, I mean, everybody like, dies. Every building that like ghost hunter people go to is always a bit decrepit. Yeah. But then when you realise that someone's probably died in the McDonald's next door, mm, it's true. a bit like ah. <laughs> yeah. Most yeah. buildings are haunted at some point. Your Big point. Mac's probably fine. Not fucking ghosted <laughs> out. It's all good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll have honestly, like I'll next time like everybody's out the house, I'll just invite you guys around, we can do a ghost thing. It's great. That's Ouija board, hard. oof. No, be, you can't do Because then you time. will actually summon a demon. That'd be a great time. No, it would <laughs> do it for the views, but like, <laughs> what, anyway. what views what views do get? <laughs> we got a thousand like <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging on to that. <laughs> do you not think I am? <laughs> this is all I have. <sighs> Yeah. Well, it? happy Halloween folks <laughs> yeah crazy I hope that shit doesn't happen to you because I didn't sleep straight up that night no sleep I in our house no it's sleep. like we always joke about being haunted because doors just open sometimes we're like that's just yeah. a draft yeah know? probably because yeah. our house is weird mm-hmm. I'd, like all of those things I'd probably let go as just like yeah just a draft or yeah just I don't know fucking knock the run like you say or just yeah I'm losing my mind but like all of them to happen like within like f- an hour maybe yeah. Like, yeah, spooked me the fuck out big time. Our garden scats me out. So I'll look out the window and be like, ooh. But like, I think that's just because it's dark. I'm yeah, like, exactly, uh, yeah. Uh, like, you, from the kitchen window, you can see that window. Mm-hmm. And where there's a black curtain on it, I constantly think there's something there. Okay. Like, never and really I'm sure, like, glare and stuff, yeah. like, makes it look like there's some sort of, like, shimmering I'm, I'm always or moving. Like, oh, oh, it's fine. Yeah. There's, like, nothing there. Mm-hmm. Songs of the week. <laughs> I genuinely have, like, a playlist which I'm listening to, which I never listen to, like, mm. ever. I'm typically just on, like, this one playlist where it's just, like, a bunch yeah, of fucking pump, uh, pump pop. Uh, pump pop? I've got a pop playlist called Things, like which I've been doing since 2014. Yeah. And it's got 2,519 songs in it. Oof. It would take me 150 hours to listen to it fully. Madness. And I hate half of it now, because it was in 2014. Yeah, 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 yeah. My music taste is, like... I never so use Shuffle Play anymore, because, like, yeah, the top half of my playlist is gone. I just use Shuffle, and I'm like... Yeah, skip, skip, skip. Fire, uh, bang it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. But I've been like banging out the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One and Two right. soundtrack. Okay, yeah. Fine. Has some absolute fucking bangers in there. So I want to go with Spirit in the Sky. It's called fucking Norman shoot. Greenball. Yeah. Fuck knows. He's a one-hit wonder, and he he basically just turned up and was like, "Here's the best song ever," written. <laughs> and then and then dipped. Did one. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "I'm not gonna ever do better than that," you know. Like, oh, man. He got finished on a high, dude. Yeah. And then Hooked on a Feeling Fucking by shoot. Blue Swede. What? It's Blue Swede. It's Blue Swede. 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 Yeah. I <laughs> Same. think it's Swede. Sure. You've, you've, you've second guessed for you. Honestly. Let me, let me see it. Let me probably. See the I'm, it's Swede. Yeah, bitch. Okay. So, all yeah. right. uh, so it's... it's been a real easy week for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Water Parks released a new album like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So here's the greatest song title ever made. Uh, I miss having sex, but at least I don't want to die anymore. <laughs> this is fair. <laughs> and uh, can you guess who released a new song like this week, Ian? Is it Green Day? No, well, it came out on Thursday last week. Oh, no idea. I did not shut up about it for like five days. Oh, <laughs> I should know. I don't. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it's not. No. I was going to say TMG, but it's not. Just take a, take a quick punt, you. It's the easiest question I've ever asked you. Uh, I don't know why. You don't need the to look The 1975. Up. Just, there you go. Look really? At me, look at me, you. Look exactly. at me right now. Is it the 1975? Yes, of course it is, you. Right. Of course it is. Uh, throw state of mind for the 1975. You can tell okay. my brain is a mess this week. <laughs> I'm just having yeah. sex with really, so don't want to die anymore. Frail state of mind. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Probably just nothing. It's DMs are open. <laughs> Jeez. I swear we did this last time as well, where it's like Mike's DMs. <laughs> and they still barren, still They're nothing. dry as fuck, oh, mate. My DMs so. are mostly me sending myself memes to download. <laughs> but I showed you the Chris Ebag one for the other day. Sure. It's like... <laughs> it's like... Me with a passion, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's so fucking soft spoken. <laughs> I, I love him hate so it. much. I just it's hate his like, voice. Like, there's, there's one where it's like uh, I think I put it in the podcast last week. I'm not sure. Last week. Yeah. <laughs> last yeah, yeah. episode. But it's like he was telling a story. And I was like, I want it for my eulogy. And it's like he was a gambler, a womanizer, a rude boy of the old school. <laughs> 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 I wrote this for Ryan last week because mm-hmm. he was like, yo, here's a conspiracy theory. Write about it, please. I was like, yeah, boy, why not? He's, 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 he's the one that's further so back. Big Ryan. Look at him go. What an icon. Recently. All my friends are on baking goods. Did I mention this? I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I didn't realize, I didn't know what to stick them on. So Jordan's on some pasta. Emily's yeah. on some sugar. I think oh. Pete's on like some beef stock or something. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's on That's some panko breadcrumbs. Look at him go. Incredible. Uh, but yeah, so peach should be the pasta. I'm sorry. I mean, I had already stuck peach on by the time oh. I found the pasta for Jordan. I was like, oh fuck sake. I said that to Mum Wilson. I was like, oh, I should have put Pete on the pasta. And I was like, wait, is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nine eleven was an inside job, Ian. Let's okay. let's go. Uh, so I got all this information from David Icke, who's probably one of the most famous conspiracy researchers because he mm. doesn't like people. Typically, researchers. very reliable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to He's a not. degree what? I mean the amount of effort that he puts in he does and he makes effort, fat yeah. stacks off his books and like True. that's that's inspiring that, but I feel like if he good. reads something then he'll just stick by it he won't really like fact check yeah. it like too much and I'm, I'm not about to sit here and shit on a tragedy you know there's you know, fr- just around 3,000 people died and it's real bad but Definitely. this is real famous and I will talk about it so yep. if, if you're still like Oh, 9-11. Like, um, how long up. has it been? Mike's saying 18 grow years? Up. Yeah. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> grow up. Open your eyes. See the real yeah. world. Oh, it's quite Mum and dad would have been dead anyway by now. Shit, <laughs> 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 Fuck it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no geez. Americans are watching this. Honestly. Nobody's watching this. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Uh, so the official story goes that some Al Qaeda affiliated terrorists hijacked two planes, flew them into the Twin Towers of the Royal Trade Center in New York, following fire sparked and the plane from the plane crashes and the fire from that weakened the steel beams and the towers could no longer support themselves and fell down. Mm-hmm. Right. So is something that David Icke brought up, which I thought I would know, but I didn't. Uh, they weren't the only two towers to fall that day. Uh, World Trade Center Seven, yeah, the third seven. building, also yeah. fell. I never uh-huh. knew this. Genuinely never knew this. And then the, the Pentagon, fuck? like... Yeah, Pentagon also well. got hit, but that yeah. didn't fall. So that's just... Yeah. Yeah. Also some juicy stuff about the Pentagon later as well. Ooh, okay. uh, so he states that never in the history of architecture has a steel frame building fell from fire damage. Okay. So he... Ooh. And not only that, but the official story of Building 7 is that it fell from... Not a jet fuel fire, which obviously would be hotter. You know? Yeah. Uh, it fell from an office furnishings fire, so desks, chairs, bit of paper. Yeah, and that melts steel. Yeah, mm. I'm not, I'm not buying that at all. No. Uh, building seven. If you look at the footage, I would show you the footage, but I'd, that'd take me too long to find. Okay. It'll be in the podcast if you watch it back. Sure. Give me the views. <laughs> <laughs> it falls. It's like the most like obvious controlled explosion ever. Sure. It like falls flat like yeah. all controlled explosions do and it's yeah. like oh I feel like that's the same like the, the two well the one main thing which I see about like 9-11 where it's like it's kind yeah. of swaying it me it free fell they into free itself. fall they don't yeah. like fall on any other exactly. buildings no collateral damage it's okay. just those ones like fucking falling perfectly get to a later big yeah. okay I got you I got you here I got you all right. like 2,000 words like. I got you back uh, Larry Silverstein he won the bid to construct Building 7 in 1980 and wanted to buy the lease for the whole complex right all buildings 1 through 6 yeah and when the New York when New York put the lease up for sale he put in a bid and he secured the lease July 24th 2001 7 weeks before the 9-11 well attacks happened right yeah he was interviewed in a retrospective piece done a little while after the attacks, like, what were your memories of this day, right? Yeah. And he said, the fire commander came up to him that afternoon and said they were struggling with the fire. And then he said, there's already been a tragic loss of life already. Let's just pull it, right? And then they watched the building come down. Mm-hmm. So he's already still on his own foot. Yeah. Because obviously it wasn't a building furnishing fire that brought it down, controlled explosion. Yeah. Right? Here's where it gets real juicy. Uh, none of the fire commanders on the day they have been spoken to, none of them can recall ever having this conversation. Stressful day. I'll yeah. give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I, for, I forget conversations frequently. Yeah. Sometimes to my detriment. Almost mm-hmm. too much. Absolutely. If I watch back this podcast and I see some of the yeah. shit I said, <laughs> I would be very disappointed. <laughs> Secondly, you also don't pull the building with fire departments. There's 
a whole team which go do professionals that set up explosives, right? Sure. And setting up those explosives normally take a good couple of weeks. Okay. So, one, you wouldn't pull it on the day. There's yep. no way to just be like, cool, take it down. Yep. Fire departments aren't the ones that pull it. Sure. It's like, Ooh. Yeah, it's just... Oh. Building 7, also quite importantly, fell in free full speed, which only can be achieved by blowing it up, yeah. right? <sighs> it's unpleasant. This is just not nice to talk about. Okay. Uh, so Big Larry has definitely been caught in a lie. Yeah. He has been caught fabricating stuff. Okay. And it was like, ah. Oh. So another building hit that day. It's Pentagon. You mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Big Pentagon boy. Uh, there's three important parts about that attack, right? There are 84 cameras at the Pentagon just mm-hmm. monitoring it. And no footage from any of them has ever been released. 84, and we've never seen a single bit. Okay. Right? I mean, it's kind of understandable, I guess. Maybe the outside shots seem suppose, a little bit sus. But, like, but you would want to see it, surely. I suppose, but it if you're trying probably has, like, missile like... defense and stuff like that around it, and you maybe don't want to it's give up missile the... defense around it, and they didn't shoot down a fucking plane. Well, f- yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't really want to give up, like, locations yeah, or anything like that. I if suppose. it wasn't working, then, I mean, fuck right, it. But... Yeah. Also, all of the bigwigs in the Pentagon, like, the important people... From sure. the other side of the building, from where the plane. Oh, it just so happens to be. Yeah. yeah, like you can find that just through the internet. Just be like, yeah. oh, where do they all sit? That side, mate. Uh, and if you look at the flight path of the plane, right? Yeah. It was directly on course to hit the important end of the building. And then went past, course. did a sick U-turn, which is would be, according to pilots, really hard to do, and then crashed into the front side. So like, wow. Skilled pilot. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, oh, the important people, fuck that janitors. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. came back. I was like, oh, oh fuck. I feel really weird talking about murder in this jacket. <laughs> like, yeah. Really vibrant. Uh, happy right Halloween. Happy. That's yeah. <laughs> sad Halloween. Uh, but yeah, that's that's just not nice. So it no. dodged the building, was like, pff, came back round mm-hmm. and hit it. It was like, ah, I just, just don't buy it. I just don't buy it. No. Uh, and on to the main two towers. Everyone knows about big twins. Big yep. twin lads. Look at them go. Uh, also much like Building 7, fell in free full speed. Yeah. So these massive towers came down in about 11 seconds. Right? Okay. The official ruling is that the top supports, due to the fire, weakened, and the building pancaked down onto itself. Okay. So it would be like boom, 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 boom. If you watch the video, bro, that's totally not what happens. Exactly. Exactly. And let's let's just split the building up. Right. Bottom is one, top is five. Okay. It hit 3.4, 3.6? Yeah, probably about four. A little three, bit up from yeah. the middle, but not like... Yeah. High enough. Yeah, not the like top. the very top. Yeah. Right? So if you think of the building like that, it will get stronger at the bottom, wouldn't it? So it would go bang, 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 right? Yeah. Rather than bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Right? It just wouldn't happen. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Also, one of the direct quotes from David Icke's book, you know, go buy it, <laughs> uh, from the firefighters at the scene said they heard a bomb <laughs> consecutive booms yeah. just as the tower came down. Yeah. So were they controlled explosives? Yeah. Or were they just the levels of the building smacking into each other? Don't know. Yeah. We, we weren't there. We will never know. Mm-hmm. But this lease that Larry Silverstein signed, right, for all of the buildings, granted not the buildings, but the lease of the land. He bought okay. the lease of the land, which obviously allows him to rebuild. Mm-hmm. Why would you need to rebuild? There's already seven banging towers there. Yeah. So, like, oh, Larry, lad. Big Larry. Yeah, weird. He's doing bad stuff. That's weird. <sighs> Is that is that like not typical then? Like in most other I places mean, in New York, is that you like would not think, norm? Like, I I don't know. Okay. I think that most places buy the land of the building, but of course, to yeah. buy the land of seven build six buildings, you already have one. Yeah, and then seven weeks later, three of them fall. Yeah, under what looks like controlled explosions. Sure, and three thousand people die. Hmm. Yeah, it's bad timing for sure. If it is a coincidence, it's really bad timing. Yeah, and in within two hours, this was blamed on Al Qaeda and Osama bin Laden. Two yeah. hours. Two. Like I get that you're probably like, oh fuck, we need to find out we did this real yeah. fast because yeah. you're like rushing about. It's a national tragedy. Yeah, but two hours. I mean, if it was that easy to find who is, yeah. then... if it's that easy to be like, he did it. Why was it not that easy to be like, there's three planes coming? Yeah, they put on Al Qaeda real fast. Yeah, right. Uh, so he. David like brings up this idea called problem reaction solution, right? Okay. And that's the political equivalent of it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask permission. Yeah, yeah. Which is real fucking shitty. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the story goes that America wanted to invade Afghanistan and force a change of regime in the country, ousting the Taliban who were in power at the time. Right? Yeah. Al Qaeda had a safe base of operation in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. right? So this allowed the US to be like, 
They did yeah, it and get they invade Afghanistan. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Another rebuttal to this theory of the government planning the attack is why would a government carry out this kind of attack? Like, why would they kill so many of their own people just for political gain? Yeah. Right? And I present to you, Ewan, the Reichstag fire. Do you know anything about the Reichstag I fire? I don't know. Oh, no. I, need, I need Jordan here because he's our resident Nazi Germany guy. Oh, okay. Like, okay, so... <laughs> so basically, the Reichstag building is the home of the German parliament, right, in mm-hmm. Berlin. And in 1933, four weeks after Adolf Hitler was sworn in as chancellor, it yeah. burned down, yeah. right? And it was blamed on a Dutch communist, and after a few hours, Nazi propaganda of the communist revolt was in full swing, right? So the whole country was like, ah, communism, ah, scared, fear, mm-hmm. right? So they're all terrified. And this allowed the government to draw up the Reichstag fire decree, right? Suspending freedom of speech, freedom of press, mm-hmm. and removing all restraints of police investigations, which basically allowed the Nazis to go and round up all their political opponents and yeah. jail them, yeah, right? yeah. So a dictatorship at that point. Uh-huh. Uh, that night, the stormtroopers of... I'm not going to try and say that. I have it written down phonetically, and I'm still not going to try okay. and say it. Uh, they gathered up 4,000 people and basically either killed them or tortured them or just imprisoned them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, And that brutal response to an alleged communist uprising led to the start of Nazi Germany. Sure. So there is form for this mm-hmm. to kill loads of people Blame it on someone else and yeah. then be like, ah, we're good. Mm. So, I mean, it worked. If that's what yeah. they wanted, this definitely worked. If they wanted to like build political capital to invade another country, mm-hmm. I mean, they fucking did it. A for effort. Like, yeah, I'm going to write off that real just painful stuff there. But here's the clip notes version. So America planned the 9-11 attacks, pinned it on Al-Qaeda and used it to invade Afghanistan. Yeah. What do you agree with me, Ewan? How do you how do you feel on this one? Is you this... can agree. I don't. Okay. I don't think you'll get whacked. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's sus. Like a lot of like the fo- like all the footage and all this kind of stuff is like yeah. sus as fuck. Like I saw part of it where it was like, um, like if you watch some of the videos, they all cut out at the same time. They all go black like just after yeah. it's hit. And um, like one of the videos like shows the plane like the nose of the plane going through mm-hmm. the building entirely, just popping out the other side really? and falling down. I and mean, if you show, well, like, if you see photos just after this event's just happened, there's no exit uh, hole or anything at all, which is pretty sus. Wild. Yeah, like I feel like it. It might be one which I kind of believe, like it was yeah. a controlled explosion, and you know, I'm I wasn't on board, and then I did all this fucking research, and now I'm so on yeah. board, mostly because yeah. I wasted like two days of my life. Uh-huh. It just feels like there's no good answers. There's so many questions yeah. being brought up. Like, why is this sketchy? Exactly. Why is this? Like, why do people hear banging before the planes even hit? What is Big Larry do... doing? Yeah. What is Big Larry doing? What is he doing? What is Big Larry doing? I mean, why did it fall like that? Why, you know, all this kind of stuff. Why didn't you catch them? Like, mm. it's just, yeah, so fucking weird. Like, all of it doesn't add up, you know? Something dodgy has gone on. I don't know whether it's like they did the entire thing, planned it out, or if it's just like a little bit yeah. of like willful negligence just being like ah you know or just pinning it on somebody else entirely even though it wasn't mm. even them like if it did happen legitimately I and mean, then it was like yeah it was the Al Qaeda fuck it yeah. I don't know just doesn't add up it's weird so that is where we'll call it this week I'll do I'll do a quick recap where I'll say it so you don't get whacked okay uh, so <laughs> Natasha Thingy yep called out loads of nonsense yep right that's not so much a conspiracy theory but it is wild mm-hmm. uh, you're haunted Jeffrey Epstein's a <laughs> paedophile Bill Clinton's a murderer 9-11's an inside job 18 Tears on Patreon, 18 Tears Prod on Twitter, episode. Instagram, 18 Tears on Facebook. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you soon enough.